on check one, two. Okay, you're there. All right, I'm ready to go. I'm, I'm ready to, to send this. And um, so let me get you guys kind of on the point with what's happening. We were ready to do a live at the Beehive on an unreal setting tonight with maybe the crags up at the top of Cameron Pass. And the stoke was high and so were the mountains and all the things were ready to go. And Mother Nature said, go ahead. Give it your best shot. <laughs> and with that being said, um, it forced our little rad sauce live at the Beehive outside show to be brought inside. Mother Nature was like, just do yourself a favor. Tuck yourself into a closet and call yourself, call it a day. Well, she's done her job, but we're not done. We're not done at all. My name's Goldie. You're at Live at the Beehive, and we have a pretty special setup tonight. Um... The amazing part of what we're going to get at, the, the, this room right now is filled with the most insane talent. The best part about this, I don't know if one person in this room outside of the small groups that we showed up in knows the other person we just met. <laughs> this all just happened. So this is the beauty of Live at the Beehive is we're going to have like a chance to experience an organic moment of them getting their music out inside the beehive. It's this group right here. Hello, humans. How are you? <laughs> and uh, so my understanding is, I mean, via the internet, I know that you guys are called Lover's Leap. Is that right? All right. So welcome to Lover's Leap, live at the beehive. It's your house.
Weary bones tonight on a bed Of California stars that hang like grapes On vines that shine Whose mic's hot now? Oh yeah, it's all of ours. Okay, we're working that. We're work I hear it too. I'm with you. <laughs> Thank you for this like amazing yes. Thank um, you. So okay, so you guys, the we're just this is some of our crew, but I'm gonna look at you guys and uh, Lovers Leap. What what? Where does the name Lovers Leap uh, extend from? The moment somebody said, "There's four of us." Um, well, of course we're called Lovers Leap. You didn't know that already. So what was the moment that got you, what was Lover's Leap moment, the name? So I think there's a lot of outcrops all across the country and the world probably called Lover's Leap. But our band is named for a particular one that is over the French Broad River in Hot Springs, North Carolina. And we had been put together at the French Broad River Festival sort of as a blind musical date. Mm -hmm. Shelby and I played a lot of music together. And I knew, knew Billy, and we jammed together some, and Billy and Mary played a lot of music together. <laughs> and the promoter was like, oh, this will be great. You guys just play a set together. So we got together the night before and put our song list together and got on stage and had a blast. But it, but it, it started on bandtinder.com. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the part we don't usually talk You guys, about, you too, you too, you guys too. Huh? Yeah, no, I, I got six months out of that, and I was out. Yeah, the tambourine players are the worst. Never, never goes anywhere. <laughs> there, was, um, there was something real about this one. Sweet. So, well, let's let's ex like, let's take the ride of that moment where Lovers Leap became a moment and continue this musical journey at Live of the Beehive. So, yeah. I'm there talking, and here I'm gone. <laughs> Enjoy. Yeah. So this was a song that I wrote for Shelby back here um, when we were first getting together and courting, and I was living in a dump. And she was coming to visit, and I realized I had a lot of work to do. And uh, it fits really nicely with this quartet arrangement with the dobro and the banjo and Mary's th three part harmony. Sweeping the floor and push a nerd out the door. Getting rid of books, I don't read no more. Mop in the hall, changing pictures on the walls. Cutting down the grass before it gets too tall. Love's gonna live in this house again.
having, I gotta say, having a little crowd in here really takes the awkwardness away. So thank you. Thank you for humans being in the room with us. Back to our crew. Lover's Leap. You're on live at the Beehive, and uh, you guys get house. I'm out. Everything about this is awesome. Where's home? You guys, you're leaping with love. Where's all this love leaping? Where's home? Well, I know that you can appreciate this because technically right now we're living out of our vans. Oh, the sweet, <laughs> sweet van life. No, I truly, I do appreciate that. And uh, had we had the concert the way we wanted to do it today, it would have been with the van, all the vans. And now something I had said earlier, uh, I think I said it to Billy, I'd said, listen, 
um, that you know you guys are heading back down to North Carolina after this, right? So you're heading some of y'all. North Carolina, South Carolina. North Carolina, South Carolina. So you guys are headed back down to the Carolinas. This is home. And October, September, like if you ever grew up with one of those like sweet calendars where it's like the road with the big leaves and the wooden barn and there's a cow and there's a guy and he's got this weird bottle on it's called moonshine anyway so the thing is is that it's not fake it's real you go down to the south in the in like the october september and it's amazing yeah it's like totally incredible take us elsewhere where are we headed next song and it's an original that Billy has written. I believe he wrote it in, in sort of a, a week or two long phase of just allowing anything that comes to mind to be in creativity. And um, I really love that, you know, that, that motto sort of. It's, it's hard to follow as an artist. It's very easy to get your editor out and slash things and say they're not good enough or whatever, but Billy's motto was, you know, just let it suck. <laughs> That's right. That's right. It, it was actually a three-year period that oh, I wow, did this. Yeah, years? yeah. <laughs> I just like if I if I thought it, I wrote it. I didn't allow like any, you know, is that good enough? Like, could I do that differently or whatever? Um, just as a, I, I think it's for all creators of all sorts. It's good to uh, just allow yourself. The motto was "Let it suck." Kind of, you know, it was edgy for me. <laughs> You know, just to in within my own mind, just to remember that um, to to not critique myself. So so, and I would write whatever the heck I thought, and then when I got to what I thought was the end, I would name it the first words that came to my mind, and uh, for better or worse. Mm -hmm. And uh, this particular one is is written around like like musically speaking around groupings of fives. So there's different types of fives in this song. And the first thing I thought of was that Dave Chappelle skit where he pleads the fifth. If you remember that, yeah. Shelby's got that dialed, but He's like, one, two, three, four, fifth.
song that's right <laughs> I just wanted to make you say it again <laughs> I love that and that was Billy Cardine on the dobro yeah. that is sweet and so thus forth uh, has everything um, have all these songs been yours since we got started all except for the very first one that was California Stars that we played, um, and that was a bit of a, a very cool, interesting collaboration between um, Woody Guthrie and Billy Bragg. Good knowledge. So uh, we we keep going, and in in a sense, uh, the way we would typically do these things is you'd probably hear cars passing by, or birds, or a rafter, or something like that, a helicopter, and um, this evening. We chose to get inside because the weather was weird. As a matter of fact, d do you guys want to talk about these tornadoes that you possibly drove through today? What, what happened today? 
What happened on the road? There was like, you know, th there's a reason why we're inside today. Yeah. Well, we were in our two separate vans. Shelby and I were maybe about an hour ahead of Billy and Mary, and we were coming from Buena Vista, and we'd gotten all the way pretty much through the mountains with varying degrees of heavy, heavy rain, blinding rain. Not Didn't really see any hail. We didn't. Um, until we got kind of out in the flats and then our phones blew up and the radio was like take seek shelter now find a secure if you're in a vehicle find the closest structure so we were you're like we're in that structure we're like, on the interstate we're thinking well we can get under the bed we can get in the back of the van you know there's like the, the glass is all protected there yeah yeah um, but we pulled off at Starbucks instead and and, and things were place. okay yeah. things uh, were oh latte yeah. One of my favorite places on the road is the bathroom at Starbucks, and I thought, you know, that'll be a good place. Oh, man, they're it's in there every 15 down. minutes. Oh, yeah. You can see down. the time log. They're, they're militant about it. It's quite nice. We Our, sweet fr oh. storm. Go ahead. Our sweet friend um, in Nashville, Rebecca Jean, gave us this hand-beaded mala to put on the uh, rearview mirror of the van, and I think that was a protection. That it's was the shield. It's been helping us so far. The shield really, of love. I the shield of that. karma. The shield of radness. We found ourselves in a hailstorm um, on top of a mountain biking with our kids today. You, so. Yeah, yeah, I got a text was message. Exciting. It was, this could be longer, Goldie. Um, we just got pelted by Earth and Mother and her whole nature yeah. setup. So you guys are on your mountain bikes today, and, you know, you're trying to have a nice time, and then all of a sudden, hail? What happened? What the hail? Yeah, yeah it was pretty legit, actually. Like, uh... <laughs> You know, it was hard to see, and it was cold, and we were all just screaming, um, I think all right. sounding individually fairly excited, but also just trying to <laughs> psych each other up, because it was one of those moments. Like, sure. you can handle this! <laughs> I know it hurts! Yeah, your face is, that's not the bleeding feeling, not yet. No, I get it. That's uh, amazing. Well, the, the 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 huge part of this whole setup is, you know, you guys started your morning out. You said, hey, we're going to go catch a quick rip, nice rip around the park. Bang, you come back, get in the vans, head on up here, play a nice set. But look at you. You're beaten. You're battered. But nobody would know it. Look how good looking you people are. <laughs> Well, you never let them see a sweat. So um, with no sweat at all, let's move to the next and where are we headed? Here's a song for Shelby's. This one is called Baby.
It's hard to, like, you know, you get this, the six people in here that are, like, stoked. Like, believe me, like, you know, it, it could be six million. You, you, you add as many zeros as you want. Thank you. Yeah, that's vibe. We'll visualize it. That was, uh, it was interesting. We, we just did one of these virtual concerts where an artist had to do the concert in, in a room where... Even the staff was told to, like, don't applaud. Just keep it quiet in here. Like, we're not here, right? Like, that was the... It's totally weird. It is. She's right. It's kind of awkward. But it's... You guys are, like, slaying it with music. That's the thing. Like, the awkward, like, you just showed up in my weird living room and you're playing your music. Like, we didn't even know each other. Like, we're just sending and uh, your music is like breaking that, so thank you. Appreciate that a lot. Where do we go from here? We're going to play one more song for y'all. Sweet. Um, this is a, another one of our new tunes. I actually wrote it a long time ago, um, but we brought it back from the dead. And uh, it's a... And keep going, and keep going. Tell, okay. tell, because I just have a question before we go in deeper, but keep sure, going with your yeah. story. So I wrote it during one of the wars over 10 years ago, and um, it's pretty sad how uh, relevant it still is. And um, I didn't know what to call it at first. It was just the war song. And Shelby was saying that um, is, it's in Israel that they were saying. Yeah, well, I, I'm Jewish, and when I was growing up, the cantor, who's the the guy who's he sings and leads the services, he always said he always told us, you know, there'll never be peace in the Middle East until the mothers are in charge, because mothers wouldn't send their babies to war and you know try to stop the hatred. I think, and so that stuck with me. And there's a line in Mary's song where she says, "Every mother and child, underneath these stars, laugh mm -hmm. and sing," 
And so that made me feel like maybe the song should be called Every Mother and Child. Yeah. Done. Well, I can save my comment till the end of this song. <laughs> you guys enjoy. And it's perfect because after a song like that, obviously we're on a ride right now. Where does Lovers Leap go from here? You guys are incredible. Uh, where do you guys go? What, where, where, what's the next road? What's your what's the what's Lover Leap Lovers Leap 
dream. You guys sit around a couch, you have a whiskey, you say, you know, we wish we could play dot, dot, dot. Goldie's living room. Okay, well, of course, that would, that's granted. You got it. <laughs> uh, yeah, where, where, where would be the magic? Where's the magic? Yeah, we're, well, we're playing in Boulder on Saturday, and that's a dang magical place. Yeah, and, it sure uh, can be. And then we have, we've got some show, shows in the southeast. We're playing in the, uh, on the banks of the Nolichucky River yeah. in East Tennessee uh, over Labor Day weekend. And got some shows around the south. And then, I don't know, yeah, next time France calls, when, when things open back yeah, up, we'd yeah. head back over there. California, we'll put that on the, on the, on the to-go list, you know? Yeah, we just love adventure. So it's basically anywhere we have friends, family, or somewhere beautiful, we'll pack up the sucks and the one wheels and mountain bikes and just head out and we just gratefully love each other's company and since we're two couples we don't feel the need to rush home to our loved ones because we travel with them and it's a really comfortable feeling <laughs> that, that's the the irony of us linking up to do this like honestly like i want to do it's got to be all three vans. That's the staging, yeah. and we make the thing however we make the thing. But yeah. it's got to be the van. If we don't do the vans, I don't care what the weather is. Yeah. We got tarps, you know? <laughs> we're going to do it. We're going to do it. And I think we're going to do it in the south. So um, you guys, I don't know. If you guys, one of you guys wants to come, you can. You just have to pay for gas. Cool? It's super easy right now. You pay for gas, and I'll drive. Good? Cool. Let's Goldie, go. we just want to say how much we appreciate you bringing this all together. You know, we just got a random text or something from you a couple weeks ago, and um, this is exactly what we wanted to do: is just make some videos and hang out with folks here in Colorado. And you you pulled it together, and we are so grateful. So thank you so much, and thank you all. Yeah. If 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 the uh, Facebook folks can see this beautiful staff here behind you it's just <laughs> I, I mean just so much fun and we appreciate y'all thank you they so are much. those are the humans they're the ones who yeah. made it happen thank yeah you. does everyone have a drink in their hand good good that's a good staff <laughs> okay so um well then it is it, it is we did it 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 we didn't have the crags as the background we would try <clears throat> But maybe it's in North Carolina next time, South Carolina. We've got options. But that was amazing. And if you were here for it, you were lucky. And if you were not, well, well. Join us online. Well. <laughs> How does one find you guys online? Loversleepband.com. And we have the Instagram and Facebook on there. Um, I want to say that some of the songs we played are on our EP that we put out in 2019, self-titled, The Fifth, and uh, Every Mother and Child will be on the next EP that comes out. So join our mailing list and stay in touch with us for that sort of information if you love the music. What was the name of the song with the numbers again? What was that again, guys? One, two, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Live at the Beehive, and we are out. Oh, okay, let me throw my mic. That's the beauty of doing this stuff kind of live. Like, I might edit this out, and you might never, ever see this, but I might also keep this, and we'll see how that goes. So, anyway. I got, like, especially kind of attached to tuning when I was in India studying with my teacher at Devashish Bhattacharya in Calcutta. And he was just, he was really just hard on me for making sure that like the pitch was right at this point where kind of the energy could blossom out of the music. And I was just learning it, you know, and I'm like, well, man, you know, if you're not here, if you're not in front of me to tell me if I'm, if I'm there or not, like, how am I going to know? And he said, um, if it makes you feel uncomfortable, it is not the right note. <laughs> All right, take two.